vision is critical to conducting daily activities of life. The loss of eyesight can be emotionally devastating and have a catastrophic socio-economic effect on the individual and community at large. Trachoma, a highly infectious bacterial disease, is the leading cause of preventable blindness worldwide. It is characterized by swelling of the eyelids and scarring of the eye cornea. Repeated infections make the eyelashes turn inward and scratch the cornea, slowly and painfully leading to irreversible blindness in adulthood. In Kenya, trachoma is estimated to be endemic in 18 larger districts. 19% of the blind population are said to suffer blindness from trachoma. Trachoma is uh, usually found along the Rift Valley region where the environment is, uh, uh, there is scarcity of water, the environment is dry, there is usually association with uh, the pastoralist communities, mainly and commonly found among children. It is transmitted uh, by flies or fingers, you know, and also uh, human and animal waste are factors that are associated with trachoma cycle. Blindness from trachoma strikes adults in their prime years, hindering their ability to care for themselves and fend for their families. Children are the most affected, as majority quit school to take care of their blind relatives. About a year ago, Noah Karat was a well, able man providing for himself and his family through his livestock business. Today, his life has changed drastically. He relies on well-wishers and relatives to feed and take care of him as his wife and children abandoned him. Noah, like many others suffering blindness from trachoma, regrets not seeking medical attention earlier on. Family Siamanda Ndiapo, in her late 70s, feels that she is a burden to the community and her family. She too suffers from blindness caused by trachoma. Prevalence of trachoma in the larger Kajiado, Samburu and Laikipia districts has led to an increase in poverty levels and hampered economic growth. AMREF, together with its partners, have been able to implement an innovative public health approach known as the SAFE strategy. The strategy is a recommended approach by the World Health Organization to control trachoma in ailing communities. A safe strategy, is a, as you know, is a strategy developed by the World Health Organization and it stands for surgery, antibiotics and facial cleanliness and environmental sanitation. It's a comprehensive strategy which really addresses the issues of behavior and provides services to, to try to deal with trachoma. So it's a comprehensive strategy. It has worked because we've tried it for the last 10 years. We tried it in Magadi in small pilot projects. Now currently we're working, implementing SAFE in three out of eight districts that we have surveyed. Ministry of Health, in its development plans, uh, there are specific uh, strategies that have been um, put in place to see that we are able to eliminate trachoma. In fact, we have partners working with us with respect to eliminating trachoma and uh, some of the partners include AMREF, Operation Eyesight Universal, Sight Savers, Kenya Society for the Blind. We also have uh, training institutions like the University of Nairobi, which serves as technical advice. And uh, we are targeting to eliminate trachoma in Kenya by the year 2015. 
Through the safe interventions, over 80% of the population in Samburu and Kajiado have received medical care through mass treatments since 2007. Mass treatment of trachoma is important for at least four consecutive years so as to avoid reinfection. We have been using antibiotics to treat those who are sick and we have already done three rounds in the larger Kajado with a success rate of 83%. Then uh, we have done in Samburu. Now this is the second round that we are doing. For Laikipia we plan possibly to start uh, next year. Tulembua trachoma ina inaweza inaweza lete upofu lakini inazuiwa kama ndio falipatia madawa ya kuzuia trachoma atujapata tena shida ya macho tulipopewa hizo dawa my eyes were sometimes irritating and uh, i had uh, the watery my eyes were sometimes becoming watery and even i have some friends of mine who are experiencing the same problem full concentration to the tissue it's becoming also a problem because sometimes when we had this problem in school here, a number of students were missing lessons completely. I feel that the medicine has helped us as even as a community in school. Involvement of the local chief, timing and understanding of the cultural practices are crucial in ensuring the success of this exercise. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Most of these communities are inaccessible due to the poor infrastructure. It has taken time and effort to reach these communities and change their perception towards the disease. You can realize that in our community, people don't take trachoma as a problem. They take it as they are just a normal life. Others call it as an aging problem. But that is why we came in and make them realize that it is a problem and it's also treatable. In Laikipia, access to water is a challenge and it is an expensive commodity. Women and children have to travel for miles in search of water. AMREF has trained communities on water harvesting, innovation tools and built proper sanitation facilities to ensure facial and environmental cleanliness is successfully carried out. In fact, you are a mama in a chica and a watoto. You are a good person, you are a mama. You are a good person, 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 you are most of us wengi unakuta kuna hii shida ya maji. Hapa shule tulitengeneza manini mafibu ya kunini ya kuweka maji kidogo. Mtoto akija kabla janao masha wa asubuhi. Pia sisi tukiwa walimu tunachukua hii jukumu tunaambia tunawanao hapo. Tangu tupate choo sasa tunaona hata hiyo trachoma inaendelea ku reduce. Sababu mbeleni ukikuja shule hii unakuta kinyesi ilikuwa imetapaka kila mahali. Unakuta hizi zimekuwa mingi. Tunafusa watoto kwamba wakati wanapotoka choo lazima wanae mkono. So tangu amre fa tusaidie kujengea sisi choo tumeona sasa hiyo faida ya choo sana na tumefurahia sana vile choo inasaidia kupunguza hiyo nini. Over 6000 people now have access to safe water and more than 1600 pupils have been reached in schools. Dubora mu ki kiogo yangare ni ki mpura mi ki arosha ke rolo ngana ko shogia mpura na ni shori. In advanced stages of trachoma, there is need to surgically correct the positioning of the eyelashes so as to avoid blindness. The initiative by AMREF and its partners has so far contributed to over 40% of trachoma surgeries done in Kenya. Ingi na kwenye niki wodi ole vada ola ringo te niki wodi ida urwa bit. Rena walua njara 
na yu na dola jeri musa idisi. Amah raban Allah dari, na isi bu, na aja kerana raya mu, jadi si dano. Amu le nana no asam mu dah lari nak kuni, alor raya raya, alari leongan, na yu arum si dano garol. Trachoma is a poverty disease that can be prevented. As phase one of the project comes to an end, there is a realization that much more needs to be done. The immediate plan is to get as many partners and stakeholders on board and uh, develop comprehensive plans for each district. For each of the remaining 10 districts, we need to do surveys. So those are, those are important activities. Then we need to continue with the mass drug administration in the remaining phases of, of the other districts. So eventually, we will, the phase two is to do more surveys in the remaining 10 districts and continue mass drug administration in the already district that we have started. There is need for the government and other stakeholders to come together to create awareness. This will ensure full eradication of trachoma in these districts and have a positive ripple effect on the economy.